Hi Capricorn. This is Willow Oak. Welcome. Thank you for spending your time here. Let's uh, do your reading for the month of May. Okay, let's see what your wisdom of the oracle has to say. The fates. Very interesting. Okay. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Okay. Time to release negativity. Okay. Let's get a few more. I usually take these oracle cards first because they kind of lay the groundwork for the tarot. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives us an idea of things that are going on or might be coming to pass. Okay. Love. Beautiful. It's time to release negativity and let the love in. Mm hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And remember, this is energy. So I have it set for the month of May. But energy being what it is, it can last longer or shorter. It's all up to the energy. Okay, what do we have? At the Parrot Spirit, watch your words. And even though it's a little bit humorous, it does not necessarily mean a negative at all. It's just saying, watch your words. It could have to do with anything. Okay? Say, like, if you're at work one day, you know, think about what you're saying before you say it. But it could have a variety of meanings. We'll see. Now let's get your overall energy. And the fates, this is saying that something might be out of your hands. It's up to the fates what they decide. Beautiful energy. This is the six of air. This is saying the end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocation. So it could be any or all the above. But this is beautiful because here is, um, you know, you've just done what you can. You, there's nothing to do here. So you are moving on to a place that will bring you the peace and happiness and joy that you're looking for. Beautiful. So maybe the fates are smiling on you. Hmm? Okay, let's get some cards and see what we find out. Yeah, I like your overall energy. I think it's beautiful. Okay, let's see what your first card is. <laughs> Cannot get any better, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. You have the sun. This is where... Say if you make a decision, you want to do something, it smoothly comes to pass, okay? So the fates are definitely smiling on you. <laughs> um, I like to say this is the shine your light kind of energy because everything is going so well. It's wonderful, wonderful energy. Okay, let's see what else is coming up. That knocked right into the fates. Aha! Another beautiful energy. The Empress. She is a very powerful energy. And she is the mother archetype. And all these beautiful things flow to her. Abundance, joy, happiness, love. And she's very fertile with ideas that she nurtures. 
okay? And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Ace of Wands, which says it's a new beginning. One where you are following your passion. And you have a few cards here. Okay. This one is saying you've reached your first milestone. Now it's time to take a rest. But, you know, the milestone part, I don't know if that's necessary, but it is saying time to take some time off. Take a vacation. Do something you enjoy. Walks in the woods. Read a good book. Something like that. And here, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is just awesome. Okay? This is um, the Tree of Life. You can see it right there. It's where it's a beautiful, lucrative, abundant time where you can leave a legacy if you want to. And it's where you want to share everything you have with everybody you love. Fabulous. And here, you have the Six of Pentacles, which is a give and take energy. It is very balanced. It's where you want to share with others and others want to share with you. Wowee, what a reading. And you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving knight in the deck. They are very, very slow. They're in no hurry whatsoever. It is much more important to them to be thorough and complete than it is to, you know, dash forth and accomplish their goal. They are wonderful planners and implementers. So they help to set solid foundations, especially if you're starting something new. And you are. You already had the Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. where you are starting something that you are passionate about. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what we find out. Okay, this is the second time that you've had this card. It's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Maybe you've been working very hard. You know, and here you have the card that says it's time to release negativity. And maybe, you know, you've just been working really hard. And it is time to give yourself a break. Okay? So, sometime during this month, do try to give yourself some time off. Do something you enjoy. Okay. Another new beginning. This one is the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning that's filled with happiness, love, and joy. Okay, you have judgment. This is talking about you tuning into a higher frequency. It's a really big awakening for you. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress again. So that's, again, the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. That all these wonderful things are going to flow into you or to you. You know, happiness, abundance, love. And it talks about you having these ideas that you're nurturing and want to bring into fruition. Mm -hmm. So this is a beautiful reading. The fates are definitely smiling on you. Okay. Now it does say here, you know, your overall energy is that of where you're leaving someplace. You just, you know, there's really not any more you can do there. So you're going to a place that is filled with beauty, love, happiness. You know, all these wonderful, wonderful things. And here you have love. You need to release any negativity. And here it does say, watch your words. Um, I'm trying to look and see, where would you watch your words? Maybe we should take a card for that. Mm -hmm. Just for curiosity's sake, this is a beautiful reading. Nothing here needs to be clarified at all.
Okay. <laughs> Take a look. Oh my goodness. You have the Empress again. Three times you have the Empress. And the Empress is a very strong energy. So watch your words as being clarified by the Empress. Curiouser and curiouser. What comes to me about this clarification is she is a very powerful energy and things flow to her that are beautiful. And by watching your words, see how the diagonal here says it's time to release negativity, right? And watch your words. So I would say it has potentially something to do with this. Leave negativity totally out of the picture, okay? Let the words that come from your mouth be positive, all right? Because what you speak has influence in your life, right? So yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Make for sure that what you're talking about is what you want to come to pass. Okay? And this is such a beautiful reading. There is really nothing else to even take a card for. Mm -mm. But let's get cards from the universe. Looks like this is going to be an absolutely beautiful time for you. There's love. The Empress energy times three. The sun. You just have a lot of beautiful energy. And remember, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Very lucrative, abundant time. Tree of life. Justice. Okay. Here it says, if anybody has wronged you in any way, and I don't see anything here where they would have wronged you, um, the justice is here to make it right. But what I do see are these scales, which is balance. Okay. And here, give and take, is also balance. So I think it's saying, make for sure that you stay as balanced as possible. Because that is um, very, very helpful. Yeah. If you're in a balanced state, things go well. Here it says an argument. Time to release negativity. It's, um, if there is anything negative or challenging in a reading, oftentimes, if not most times, the universe will give me a card that relates to that. And this would have to fall under the time to release negativity. So I would say maybe sometime during this month, but I get the feeling it's either currently or past that there's an argument and it could be an argument within yourself or an argument with another but this is saying release the negativity and this is saying justice so if somebody did you wrong justice is here to make it right but i think the biggest message is you need to let it go do not carry the negativity okay you want the balance and that would make sense now with Watch Your Words. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got a few more than one more. Okay. Here it says you're going to be very happy and content with your abundance. And here you also have a new beginning. One where you are going to follow your passion. And here it says that you and everybody you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. And at the bottom of the deck, it says that you might meet somebody where there is an unconditional love between you two if you don't already know them. So this is an absolutely beautiful reading. 
okay? It should prove to be a wonderful month. The Empress times three. And the fates are smiling on you. And you have the sun and the ten of pentacles. It's beautiful. Okay, let's get a charm. Butterfly. Yeah. It's all about the transformation out of one energy and into the new energy. So here, this argument and justice, there could be something here that wasn't talked about in the reading other than time to release negativity that happened in this area, you know, which is what made you want to move on. That is quite possible. But boy, oh boy, what a beautiful time you have coming. I'm so happy the fate smiled, <laughs> okay? All right. Have a wonderful May. Thanks so much. Much love. Bye.